hello guys for today's video i am showing you how i take pictures of my soaps for my website also for my etsy shop and also how i use lightroom to edit my pictures today i'll be using my cell phone to take the pictures because i'm using my camera to shoot the video but if you take pictures of your products for your small business all you need is a cell phone and I recommend they use Lightroom is so easy to use and so friendly to use for those that are not very skilled to use any type of photo editing app Lightroom has a small purchase every month I purchase myself and it really helps me edit my pictures for my website also I'm showing you how I am using replica surfaces replica surface is not sponsoring this video I actually purchased the backgrounds myself um, last year on a Thanksgiving sale it's been almost a year that I purchased them and I'm finally putting them to use and also before I use replica surfaces I use a Dollar Tree whiteboard which you can also use and your pictures will come out amazing now if this video is for you and your interest how I do this let's dive right into the video so I went ahead and opened my replica surface package I purchased the marble background and I also purchased the concrete background which I'm gonna use for my base the package also includes the two plastic pieces so you can set up your background and it also has a QR code where you can scan it and look at the instructions i'm going to set up my mini studio now using the two plastic pieces i'm using the concrete as my base and the marble as my background i did have a hard time putting them together at first the plastic pieces are kind of hard but eventually i figure it out also grab all your items that you're going to take a picture with you can see here I have my soaps and my other items that I would like to add to my picture. Now, let's set up the studio. As you can see, I added the whiteboard, the Dollar Tree whiteboard on the side to reflect the natural lighting. Also, shop your home. Look for items that will fit the aesthetic of your picture or what are you aiming for to reflect on your picture. So you need to use the space that you have. I live in a small apartment and the only place that brings the best natural light into my home is my balcony door. So I recommend that you look for the best place that you can go ahead and set up your mini studio to take pictures. Now it's the best part. I love taking pictures. I love trying different angles and different aesthetic for my pictures. I change things around, I move things around. I just try to be as creative as possible. But also I try to keep it very simple, not try to complicate things because when you start taking pictures, um, you're here for a while, you t take as many pictures as you like so you have plenty of choices when it's time to edit. I also made a video of a DIY project where you can make your own affordable replica surface at home. And in that video, that's how I started taking my pictures. So you can see how much I have improved. You have to be realistic starting to try to take your own pictures for your website or for your Etsy store. It's hard and you have to learn so many things at the same time. So that video is great. If you're just starting out, you can start with that project and of course invest on something like the replica surface uh, backgrounds. Therefore, I'm all done taking the pictures and let's start the Lightroom tutorial. Now we're here on my computer. As you can see, I have all the pictures that I took earlier on the video with my phone. If you have the Lightroom app on your phone, the picture should transfer to the Lightroom app on your computer. You just have to sign up and create a login and a password and download the apps, one on your phone and the other one on your computer. As you can see, I already added some on my phone, but I am going to edit a couple pictures so you can see how I edit them in Lightroom. 
Let's choose one that has not been added yet, like this one, for example. This one has not been added. As you can see, it looks just like a regular picture. I took the pictures with my phone. Of course, if you have a iPhone or a professional camera, you'll probably get a better resolution. But as you can see, I took a lot, lot of pictures. So I will choose the best ones to post on my website and my Etsy store. Here's just an example. I go here and I press auto and it does its own editing for you. So what I like to do is so simple. I just adjust the light, but usually I adjust the light to where I feel like it's okay. If I wanna crop the picture, I will go here to the crop item and I will crop just a little bit. It's much harder to crop on the computer than on your phone. That's why I like to kind of edit on my phone. And you can see here, that's how I, I do it. If you need to flip the picture, for example, like this or like this, you can. But I'm all done. Then I just go back here and it's cropped. Let's do another picture. This one. This one has not been edited. Of course, it's not one of the best pictures, but let's do the same thing. I'll go here. I'll press auto and I'll just adjust the light just a little bit. As you can see, you can just, you can make it super bright. You can make it super dark, lighter version to, you know, enhance the natural light. I like to use natural light to take my pictures, but let me show you the ones that I have edited. I just feel that on my phone, I have better control when I'm editing the pictures. Here's one of the pictures that I edit on my phone. I really love the aesthetic of the picture and how it looks. There's another one here. You see my pictures could have came out a little better, but I'm still happy. But yeah, this is how you do it. And if you need to upload to your computer to share to your website, Etsy store or any other um, place that you want to share to your friends or your family or whatever picture you're taking of your products or even of your family, you can go ahead and you can share. You just press here. I already have my settings, but you can download them in a small form, which is easier to upload to the website, or you can upload in a larger form for other reasons. But that is all, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this video is helpful to you and your family. If you like me to do more videos like this and share how I, you know, run my little small business behind the scenes, please press the like button and press the subscribe button so I can keep making more videos and keep growing on YouTube. Thank you so much. And I cannot wait to see you guys again. Bye. We got something magical.